Well, here in Western Washington, we are very late getting our garden in. It is the end of May, Memorial Day weekend, and these are my tomatoes. Kind of sad looking critters. They haven't been touched by frost, but they definitely don't like the cold nights. See those leaves? But they're doing really good at the top, in the center. And I usually plant 18 to 24 of these tomato plants, and I only have six. They're very, very expensive this year, and I didn't have time to start my own. So we're gonna do a little self-propagation. All of the little tiny hairs on the stalks of the tomatoes can become roots if they're put in water. See those little hairs there? Yeah, each one of those can become a root. So what we're gonna do is we're looking through the plant and we're looking for here is the main stem or stalk, and then this is like a new stalk coming off of it. So I'm just gonna cut a little bit of it here that has a new top. I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna put it in water and I'm gonna start a whole new plant. And we're gonna do that with any of these that we can that have new tops like that. So I'm gonna set this down. Okay, and hopefully that will show the cutting that I'm taking. So you can use scissors or you can use your clippers. And I'm just gonna come in and cut it right there. Leave that leaf. And I just took this much. That's the only one on that plant. Oh, this plant has a good one. So the main stem is here, and there's a nice tall one right here. So we're gonna get that. So I'm gonna cut it way down there. Look at that, that's a good one. And I'm just going to continue taking whatever I can. There's nothing on that little guy. We've just got the main stem. This one, we have a little one right here, but it's pretty sad looking. And the leaves on this one look different because it's a different species. Oh, but there's a good one right there. Let's see if I can set the phone down. And we'll just chop it right there. And this one has a little, my hair keeps getting in the way. This one has a little itty bitty guy over here. See how tiny that is? Hopefully you can see that because I can't see what I'm recording. Okay, I think I am gonna take this sad looking one though. Even though it's pretty sad, it should perk up and I just don't have a whole lot to work with. Can you see that? It's got ucky leaves and something's been eaten on it, but hopefully it'll come back. All right, and then I'll clean these up in the house. So now what I wanna do 
is I just want to trim off this bottom leaf right here because if we put leaves in the water, they'll rot. They'll make the water all icky and nothing will happen except for the plant will get gross and die. So I'm just going to take that off. And these little white notes you see here are labeling the plant that I took it off of because I want to know what plants I'm making, obviously. Then we're just going to put it in the water. Water bottles work just fine. And this is water that's been sitting in a container for an hour so it dechlorinates because it's tap water. And you see how the stem is sticking down into the water but no leaves are. This is the one that was super sad looking. And I'm just gonna take these off right here so that no more energy goes into trying to keep those alive. We do need some leaves for, yeah, I knew the name of the process a second ago. Anyway, we do still need some leaves to keep the plant alive so that it can generate light into energy. Photosynthesis, I think that's the right word. Anyway, and then this one, you can see this leaf has been touched by cold nights. It's not a healthy leaf and it's too low to where we cut it anyway. So we're going to take it off and we're going to take off this little guy and we're going to leave these leaves for the photosynthesis. Even though they're not great looking, they're still going to help it and we're gonna drop it right in there. And the, the crotch of it is not down in the water, just the stem is in the water. And this little guy, this right here is super cute. This is just made for doing what we're doing or for putting a single flower in or something like that. Um, oh, it's called a propagation tube. And I made this out of resin and then this is just a plastic test tube and we're not going to cut any leaves off of this because it just doesn't have very many but because the propagation tube is narrow it'll sit right there with just a little bit of the stem sticking down into the water let me move that closer so you can get a better view There you go. So now you can see where the bottom of the stem is in relation to the water level. Okay. Then this one, this is our biggest guy. And we're not going to take any leaves off of it because it, it's a nice cutting here. It has some nice big leaves, but it has lots of stem. And all these little hairs, like I said earlier, have the ability to grow a root. So immediately it will start taking up water and nutrients from those little hairs. But now, can you see that the crotch of that leaf is below the water level? We don't want that. So I'm gonna dump a little bit of water out. There we go. Now the crotch of the root, excuse me, now the crotch of the leaf is above the water line. So that's just perfect. And then these should grow roots within just a few days. It won't take long at all. And we'll keep our labels with each bottle. Now I have learned the hard way when you do these little labels, don't use colored sticky tabs because we're working with water, and if we use colored sticky tabs, they have a high potential to stain your counter or your work surface. Okay, two days ago we cut this, and we're gonna look and see if there's any roots growing at all. There are no roots whatsoever.
There's just a little bit right there. It's just starting. Okay, we'll add a little bit of water back into these vases because it's getting kind of low. Well, hi guys, we are back and this is day eight and all of a sudden these are exploding with roots. So this one has all kinds of little roots on it. You see all those little white hairs coming out of the stem and they are gonna grow so fast from this point. Even this little guy that is so unhealthy and something was eaten at it. It's got one little root growing right there. Can you see that? So it's doing well. This one is going nuts. Look at all those roots. Anywhere it was in the water, it's growing roots. This one is just a teeny tiny little guy. And look at all those roots. So just a couple more days and these are going to be ready to plant. This one, which is the biggest and healthiest of them all, this is so funny, it has nothing yet. That's just a drip of water on the bottom, that's not a root. But nothing yet. It will. It just needs more time. Maybe because it's supporting so much foliage, I don't know. But these are doing very, very well. It's been eight days since we cut them off the plants. And probably in two more days, I will put them in pots with dirt. So there we go. And I will check in with you again later. Bye-bye for now. Okay, hi guys. I believe this is day nine of our propagation experiment. And so it's been nine days since we cut these and put them in water. And look at the roots on this guy. He could be planted right now. That is just amazing. Once they started growing, they just took off. And then this little guy, he was kind of bug eaten and everything. And I don't know what got to him. It's so funny because he has this one long root it's really really funny to me i've never seen that before but where he's got one he'll get more so we just got to keep that one down in the water this one is doing phenomenal look at all those roots he could be planted right now this was another little tiny one. And look at all of those roots. It's doing just great. Once again, it could be planted right now. Got to get all those little roots back down in the water. Okay. This was a really nice big piece. And it's funny because it should have started growing roots down here, but it didn't. But it did start way up here. See all of them starting to come out down here? So there's nothing down here. So I'll probably cut this right about here and just encourage these roots because it's doing really well right there. So. Like I said, this is day nine. A couple of these are ready to be planted, and so maybe we'll get them planted tomorrow. So I will see y'all tomorrow. Bye-bye for now. Well, hey guys. I last checked in with you, believe it or not, 11 days ago. And I know I was gonna check back <clears throat> And I know I was going to check back in just a couple of days, but I got really sick and it turned out to be COVID. So it has now been 20 days 
since we started this project. So the roots are absolutely going nuts on these guys. They're actually not as happy now that they've been in water this long and they really need to get in some dirt. This one with this one long root is really, really weird. And it is starting to get a couple of little roots up here, but I have never seen anything root like this. And I'm actually not going to plant that one. That's just weird and I don't think it'll do well. This one, the roots are doing fantastic and it is more than ready to plant. You see here the leaves are actually suffering because they don't want to just live in water. So they need to get in the dirt and get more nutrients. This little guy is doing really well. He has plenty of roots to support the amount of greenery that we have. And once again, he's suffering just a little bit and needs to get in the dirt. Plus, I was not watering these guys every single day during the worst of it. This one is doing really, really good. And he actually is getting roots all up and down here, which is fantastic. That's a lot of roots. And I'll plant it clear up to here because wherever you plant it, it'll just keep getting more roots. Anything that's in the dirt will continue rooting. So I'm not going to plant this one with the, the weird long root, but the rest of these are ready to go in the ground and be new plants and grow and be healthy. This one is actually getting buds on it right here. I don't know if you can see that, but it's got little flower buds. So anyway, it's been 20 days since we cut them off the plants and they are more than ready to go in the ground. So that's the end of this propagation experiment. And I'll see y'all next time. Bye-bye for now. Shoot. So many words going through my head and I can't think of the word. This doesn't want to balance my phone.